This is Raptor News. And who are the damned? We know the damned to be Esau, Edom, the Gentiles. And fortunately and unfortunately, the Gentiles come in all shades at this moment. And we're going to prove that today in today's lecture. This is a very serious lecture. So we are we have reached the end and God's indignation is going to be upon the people or the inhabitants of the earth. And so I just did a video where we're going to be getting lifted out and that's going to leave Edom, Esau and the nations and they are going to hate and kill each other left and right it's going to be imprisonment it's going to be bondage it's going to be fema camps it's going to be holy hell to pay when we leave so we're going to start with the word indignation the definition is anger or annoyance and this is god's anger and annoyance provoke by what is perceived as unfair treatment and what is the unfair treatment the Gentile has no idea of how he and she have treated the children of Israel, God's chosen people. Malachi 1.4 Whereas Edom says, we are impoverished. And that's the end. This is how bad it's going to get when we leave. But we will return and build the desolate places because God said he's going to do what? Go through their land and make it desolate. But thus says the Lord of hosts, they shall build it and I will throw it down again and they shall call them the border of wickedness. So that is what we're going to call you, the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation. The key word in here is forever, forever. And then they try to ha hand you guys a false messiah. Listen for the false messiah in any of this truth of God. You know what I mean? They try to they try to send Paul of Tarsus with Christ crucified to deliver the Gentiles, and I can't even believe black, white, yellow, green, and brown Gentiles are buying that shit. Can they not read what I'm reading right here? Can I not trust God's word over the devil? Because the book already said the Gentiles sacrifice to devils. So we got that black Gentile, Lily girl, degrading herself. You know what I mean? With that fake Jesus. And she's over there playing games in her mind and with the people. Oh, she having a good time, people. But guess what? She going to burn like hell in hell. We're going to look down on her bald-headed, burning black ass. We are. And that is for real. Mark my words on that. Her ass is not making it into the kingdom. Let's find out why. Jeremiah 49, 10. And Edom is just not... E, the Gentiles are just not the white men. But when we talk about Edom and Esau, we are talking about the whites. So the whites is going to be what? Impoverished. And God is going to throw down everything that they build up. And they shall be called what? The border of wickedness. The people against whom the Lord has indignation forever. Forever. What is indignation? He is angry at y'all, man. Jeremiah 49, 10. But I will strip bare the land of Edom. That's why it is impoverished. It is it's desolate. And there will be no place left to hide. Its children, its brothers, its neighbors will all be destroyed. The key word is all. So you got that other guy, uh, Asher Rock, playing a game. Same as Lily Girl. All these Gentiles, they play with God. They play with his word. But he going to burn their asses. They will become fuel for hell's fire. And Edom itself will be no more. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. 
Isaiah 34, 2. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all Gentiles. Key word in there again is all Gentiles. So it can say in other uh, definitions, all nations. But it's still the same thing. Because Israel is going to be saved with an everlasting salvation. Israel is loved with an everlasting love. Right? And we have an everlasting covenant with God. It don't go away. You know? Are you going to have a covenant in hell? And salvation in hell? For the indignation of the Lord is upon all Gentiles. And his fury upon all their armies. He has utterly destroyed them. He has delivered them to the slaughter. And so you got Malachi, Jeremiah, and Isaiah all saying what? That these Gentiles will all be destroyed. Except a remnant is going to say later. A handful of them. Which is going into captivity. And then or will be paid back exactly what they dished out upon the black man. All your years of hate and everything else and pin up shit is going to be used against you in the court of God's law. Isaiah 66, 14. And the hand of the Lord shall be known towards his servants and his indignation towards his enemies. And so how is God looking at the white man, the Gentile, as enemies? Because when he's using the word, his indignation is upon all the Gentiles, then the indignation is towards the enemies, his enemies, Esau, the Gentiles, Edom. You are the enemies. And God told us what? In Deuteronomy 6, 8, right? 28, 6, 8. I am sending you to your enemies, but it's his enemies as well. Our enemies is God's enemies. Jeremiah 10, 10. But the Lord is the true God, not Jesus Christ. You ain't gonna never hear no Jesus Christ, nothing in here. You ain't gonna never hear no Trinity in here because all that's some false shit to give the Gentiles that false hope that they keep looking for in the New Testament. He is the living God. Jesus Christ in the New Testament is the God of the dead. I say that again. He is the firstborn of the dead, the God of the dead. Go look that up. He is the firstborn of the dead in a biblical search. And then you'll know that God is the living God an everlasting king at his wrath. The earth shall tremble and the Gentiles shall not be able to abide in his indignation. Right. His judgment. Nahum 1 6 who can stand before his indignation and who can abide in the fierceness of his anger his fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are thrown down by him so he's going to send brimstones meteorites down on these Gentile nations and that's going to thump all it from the earthquakes to the meteorites and the fires is going to keep their land in perpetual desolation you know why because they had a perpetual hatred says God against his people that's how important his people is to him Esau Edom Gentiles Gentiles are all throughout the hood so we ain't just talking about the white man or the oriental or the damn Russian or those from the Caucasus mountains we ain't just talking about them man we talking about every gang banger they asses as well we talking about Silly, prissy-ass bitches like Lily, you know, playing with this Christ bullshit. All them damn camps in that Christ, Church of God in Christ. We talking about all of they fake worshiping, devil worshiping, Gentile asses. Only few of us can get that. We only supposed to worship God, the Creator. We're not supposed to be worshiping creation at all. You know, idolizing creation, making us idolatrous devil worshipers Zephaniah 3 8 all these prophets are saying the same thing therefore wait ye upon me says the Lord five different prophets until the day that I rise up to the prey for my determination is to gather the Gentiles that I may assemble the nations to pour upon them my indignation even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy I'm a burn they asses I'm going to burn their asses. And so I asked uh, Christy, 
Colbert to stay. I don't see her anymore. That's why I'm asking you to stay. You can say, Raptor News is a racist, but I'm right. Call me whatever you want to call me. I'm asking James Sinky to stay. And any other Gentile that's on my page, I've been asking you to stay and do what? Bless Israel. You can bless in the comments. However the hell you want to bless Israel. Whatever you think God is going to ple be pleased with you for. Or you can face this fiery anger. It's your choice, man. You can go get all up in your feelings. And your emotions. And you can listen to the other stupid Gentiles. Who told you Christ is Lord and Savior. And you don't have to go through all of this. Take the easy way. When God is punishing his own people like fucking hell and slavery twice. 40 years in the fucking wilderness. The death of us all throughout the lands and the sea. But all y'all got to do is say, Jesus is Lord and Savior. How fucking stupid can y'all be? A bibbity bobbity boo. Say the magic words. Come on. How long y'all going to be into that fucking stupid shit, man? Psalms. Six prophets, 83, 17. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yeah, let them be put to shame and perish that men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, the Lord, the most high God over all the earth, not Christ. Christ is king of kings and lord of lords in your barney five dreams. Snap out of it, man. Is it, and you can't snap some like like I see that the camps. I told them don't say Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I told them don't say that. Stop adding Jesus Christ to the Most High God of Israel. When God said He is alone, He means that. When He said He created this earth alone, He means that. When He said there was no son begotten of Him, He means that. There was no son born. He means that. There is no God beside him and no Savior beside him. He means that, you dumbass Gentiles. But they're going to say it louder in degradation. They're going to play around so they, they think that they're getting under my skin. Yahweh, Barashim, Yahweh Shai. They're going to keep saying that, you know. And they're going to burn for every fucking word that they utter of that blasphemy. And I saw Lily over there playing playing oh, Jesus Jesus and she gonna be yelling at why she gritting her teeth in hell frying frying in that motherfucker Ezekiel 25 12 this is what the Lord God said because Edom the white man acted vengefully against the house of Judah see it's always Esau against Jacob Esau's children against Jacob's children. Satan against mankind. And in doing so, incurred grievous guilt. And in doing so, look, look how God is. Till today, the they call it white guilt, don't they? And then white people will go into denial like, I don't feel guilty. Then you must be the biggest damn devil. You don't even have a soul. You just a frame of darkness walking around, huh? Stupid. You will. And you're gonna feel guilty a whole lot of pain when you become hell's fuel. Hell's angel. Ezekiel thirty five five, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. I don't hate anybody. Dig deep inside yourself, Edom, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword. He gave you the order. You got 40 and two months, you and Satan, to do as much as you can to my people. And you will only be able to touch those without the mark in their head. What did that mean? Whoever don't have a spirit, you could fuck them over. So all, all it is in, in retrospects is white Gentiles fucking over black Gentiles. That is the truth. White Gentiles and black Gentiles I have two Gentile sons. They're supposed to be my blood. They're not my blood. I know right away. I'm the one who have taught most of you this. You know, that's what God said. When you have a rebellious son, take him to the elders 
and y'all take him to the outskirts of the city and y'all stone his ass and that's how you get rid of the devil evil out of your midst because that's the devil seed even though he was born of us people don't get this still two nations of people come through our womb the firstborn usually is Satan's seed if you don't know usually the blacks firstborn are the worst or it's the last you know they to be the dirtiest you know the little one everybody missed you know what I mean y'all know black people because you have had a perpetual hatred your hatred don't ever stop they don't even know why they mad you mad because your dominion was taken you mad because you got 42 months before you are destroyed and, and burned in hell for eternity. You're e internally and eternally upset. You don't even know why, but you have to read the book to understand why you're so damn mad at black people. It ain't because we gang bangers or thugs and that ain't even us. That's y'all. Watch this. The people with the spirit on them sins no more. The people without the spirit on it continuously sin. So the ones that are always doing what's wrong ain't nothing but Gentiles just like you. Masses children, Satan's seed, the devil's spawn, y'all brethren. That's why y'all go to their fucking wicked ass concerts. Amos 1 11. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away their punishment thereof. So he ain't going to turn away the punishment because he did pursue his brother with the sword. Who was his brother? Esau is always pursuing Jacob. Why is God calling them brothers because, and they two nations of people? Because they came out of the same womb, Rebecca's womb. And did cast off all pity. All he did is cut us and beat us and maimed us and everything else. Hobbled us and enslaved us. And we're still in the land of our captivity right now. I'm, I'm doing this from the land of our captivity. You don't think I want to go home? Yes, I do. And so do a, a lot of people who listen to me. And his anger did tear perpetually. So this perpetual hatred, this perpetual anger. You don't even know why he's so mad at the black man. And the Gentiles in my family, they don't even know why they're so angry at me. I tell both my son, I ain't did shit to you stupid motherfuckers. But raise you up right and teach you right and everything else you know i got eight damn kids man damn kids i got eight kids man you know that i know about <laughs> that i that i have and basically two of them uh i just had to put out and you know and that's just they not my kids those are satan's kids my kids obey me in the lord period point blank the end my wife obey me in the lord other than that, those are not my wives, and that's not my kid. Understand? Genesis 36, 8. So Esau is Edom. Esau is Edom. So when Esau came out of the womb of a black woman, he's still a white man. But he's Jacob brothers because they came out as twins like Cain and Abel. Only Abel, I mean Cain is Esau. Esau is Cain, they of the devil, the evil one, they his seed. We just got to get this as a black people. You got a kid that won't, can't do shit right, you got yourself a damn devil. And they can smile and you may like them and everything else, but you love the damn devil. A lot of black women love the damn devil. They love their they baddest kids. Obadiah 110, and that's a fact. Because of the violence against your brother Jacob... You will be covered with shame and cut off forever. That is why God is saying that his indignation is poured out on you forever. And the key word he keeps saying is forever. It ain't going to end. From the beginning to the end, I'm pissed off at you white people for hating what? Your black brother. Right? We ain't blood brothers, but we came out the same womb. Romans 9, 13. So it is written. Jacob I've loved, but Esau I hate because of his violence against his brother Jacob. Well, more niggers kill niggers every day. What are you talking about? And just like I said, it's so irritating when you know the truth. 
more nigger Gentiles kill more nigger Gentiles. Satan was given permission to kill everybody who don't have the spirit, the mark of God in his forehead, the salvation. So all y'all do, all them sh police shootings of blacks, ain't nothing but Gentile on Gentile crimes. I don't even pity them damn niggas, man, getting killed. Or pity your asses getting killed. Because when you get got, you deserved it. Every last one that get got deserved it. Evil have become your lot. Living by the sword and dying by it, man. You know, that's why y'all got all y'all guns. Y'all living by it. And then guess what he going to say? And every man's sword going to be against his brother. And you're going to die by that shit. You know, Jeremiah 46, 27. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob. And be not dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save thee from afar off, and your seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. That's why he said, uh, a land of unwalled villages. Come in there, Gentile, and try something. And they are, and God going to just wipe their asses off the earth. Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant, says the Lord. For I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all the Gentile nations where I have driven you. All of them are going to be destroyed. I said get away from black people. I told white people to get away from black people. Not because it's racist or anything else. It's for their own safety from God. But I will not make a full end of thee. And don't think because you black you're going to get away with some shit. No, you're dealing with a fair God. you done evil. You're going you're gonna to pay for that shit. But I will correct thee in measure. And when he said he going to correct you in measure, that is some painful, severe shit. He said he going to wound you with the mortal wound of an enemy. That means he going to make you feel that damn fucking bullshit you was trying to pull off. All your fucking sexuality. Black people is way too damn sexual. All that damn sexuality, all that homosexuality, everything that you did, God is going to punish you in measure bit by bit, over a period of time. Yet will I not leave thee wholly unpunished, black man. You ain't getting away with shit. Obadiah 118. But there shall not be any remaining of the house of the white man, for God has spoken it. Jesus Christ gonna come save uh, Paul Bagley, you know, Tim Henderson, a fucking Lily girl, you know, blue heaven, all of them Gentiles. Come on, y'all fucking full of shit, man. Leviticus twenty twenty three, And you shall not walk in the manners of the Gentiles, which I cast out before you. You shall not follow the oppressor in any way, none of his ways, where they committed all these things, and therefore I abhorred them. I can't stand them, man. I'm angry at them. I'm going to destroy them. Isaiah forty seventeen. All Gentiles before God is nothing. Nothing. All they pride and arrogance. All they high IQ and vanity. Nothing. And they are counted to him less than nothing. And vanity. You have no merit in front of God. And they trying to come and preach to you. Somebody who counted as nothing before the eyes of the Lord can't say shit to me too much. Besides, go to God and worship him. Jeremiah 16, 19, the beginning of the slavery. That's a funny house verse. 16, 19 is when slavery began in America. The Gentiles shall come to thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanities, and things where there is no profit. And then, watch this, all. We get it now. We've been deluded. We got deceived by the beast. We worship Christ. Jeremiah thirty eleven. I will make a full end of all the Gentiles. Come on, man. Let's, let's get past this. I will make a full end of all. So every damn verse I'm reading, all these different prophets and stuff like that. You know, God, the prophets and everybody saying that y'all asses is done. He hates y'all asses. Every last one. He'll bore you. He can't stand you. You ain't shit, man. You nothing. He, and another one, he said, you, you count it as dung, man. Like shit. But yet, you're so damn arrogant. 
No, the problem is is Raptor News is reading this and he's racist. That's what the problem is. How insane can you be? As if I went down uh, 3,000 years ago and, and wrote this in here to piss you off today, you silly ass damn bastards. I'm going to make a full into the, of the Gentiles wherever I scattered you. Psalms 1917. Think about this, Gentiles. You are the wicked. The wicked shall run the earth. The wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the Gentiles that forgot God. Praising that damn fake ass damn Jesus, man. See, what they did is they infiltrated the name of Jesus. Jesus is a prophet sent to the lost sheep of Israel, you know, to bring us back to the Torah. And he did that. I proved that. And then you got Christ crucified, which is the pagan infiltration of the Bible. And he's looking for glory and power and worship. And he puts himself before God. You got to come through him to get to God. And all these damn black Gentile camps and everybody then bought that bullshit. And whites all over the world and these Orientals. Edom. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, man. Is there salvation for Edom? People keep asking me that, man. But I'm telling you, I keep reading it to you. Do you want to know the truth? It's not uh, so damn perplexed or complex. Edom, you have a choice. God has given you an ultimatum. You can either bow down to your brother uh, Jacob, which is the black man, and bless him. Or face the fiery indignation and become the fuel of hell fire. It is your damn choice. You can say, I don't believe God. <laughs> Sorry for you. Look, he said they was going to be over there in, in, in uh, Megiddo, Armageddon, off the coast of the Mediterranean, warring. They don't even know, as the generals, uh, United Snakes of America, they don't even know why they're over there. Satan got them all over there, waiting to be destroyed. God said in Joel 3, when they get all over there, I'm going to be in judgment of them. And we're waiting for the harvest. Come on. We're right here at the harvest. It ain't no time for you to be in denial about what God wants you to do. You know, he told us to go through slavery and serve your wicked ass. You know, and we bound and yes, our master to your fucking wicked ass. And then as a man, so that's what you sow, so shall you reap. Bow down, man. You arrogant motherfucker. Or face the fiery indignation and become the fuel of hell's fire in your arrogance being unwilling to submit to God's decrees. Who is telling you to bow down, man? He's telling you now he's going to force you later. And you ain't going to like the way he forced you. And you're going to do that shit so you're going to be yes all master to us. Genesis 13, 14. I mean 3, 14. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, I'm just explaining it, man, because I'm doing all of y'all a favor while y'all sitting there get mad at me for telling y'all the truth, reading it to you actually out of the scriptures. You sitting here reading it with me. You can open up your Bible or your computer and, and read with me. I will put an enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed, meaning the black woman can have Satan or Hebrew. Period, point blank, the fucking end. Again, it's going to show you. So we had Eve, had Cain, which is Satan, and Abel, which is the uh, the seed, the son of man, coming from Adam. The two nations of people come through the black woman's womb. The Jinn, Gentile, a.k.a. serpent seed, and mankind, a.k.a. the sons of Adam. Deuteronomy 32a. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam. What? Because they not the sons of Adam. It only leaves what? The serpent seed. That's why they the wicked. That's why he destroying them all. That's why he said they're strange from birth. He set the bounds of the people and the people of the Gentiles according to the number of the children of Israel. Letting you know who we were and are. Genesis 25, 23. The Lord told Rebecca, two nations are in your womb. One is Gentile, one is human. The Gentile race has been here uh, nation after nation after nation before the creation of man. You know. And, and then they try to tell us back, oh, see, the black man is the oldest person in the book and whites came from him through Yakub. Get the fuck out of here, man. The book is telling you something totally different. 
these Gentiles had nations already. They was already set up on this earth, but they had their dominion taken. They was mad at you, and, and now they all going to land themselves up in hell at the creation of mankind because they hated man, and they still do today. Where do you think the ancient perpetual hatred come from? Two manner of people shall be separated from your bowels, your womb, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder, which is Esau, the white man, Edom, shall serve the younger. God said this. The white man shall serve the younger, Jacob, the black man. And the first came out all red, all over, like a hairy garment, and they called his n name Esau. And after that came his brother Jacob. Genesis 27, now 29, is telling you the same thing. Let the people serve you, black man, black woman. Let these Gentiles serve you. The Gentile has come to know that it's, it's the other way around now because they turned everything upside down and backwards and they think that's going to prevail. No, you had a time limit to turn it up. You got 20 and 4 months to keep uh, Jerusalem under the sword. You know, and tear down Jerusalem. And nation bow down to you. And nations, which is Gentiles, bow down to thee. Be Lord over their, your brethren. Esau and let thy mother's son bow down to you curse be everyone that curse you for that and blessed be he that blesses you y'all gotta dig in y'all gentile hearts and see where you at and that's white black yellow green and brown so I tell my gentile sons you ain't above me in no damn type of way your whole duty is to serve and it is that's not right. We're calling the police. Call them on their 30-year-old asses, man. You know what I'm saying? Call. Call away, you stupid motherfucker. Some nigga online told me he's going to call the police. Because I had to slam one of them niggas, man. And I did. He thought that, oh, I'm, I'm getting older and that I can't handle my shit. And I showed him that I can when he ended his own face first down on the ground getting his ass whooped. You know, they think... You got to watch them Gentile kids, man. That's why God said kill them. Because if you don't watch them, what the Gentile do? He killed Abel, huh? You don't think if Cain remained, he would kill Adam and Eve? He would. You don't think Esau did what? He went to go kill Jacob, didn't he? And God said he hate Esau's ass. And who would Esau breed with? The Arabs? <laughs> Both is your brothers in some type of way. Ezekiel thirty three nineteen, but if the wicked turn from his wickedness, what is what does it mean the iniquity wickedness? Obey God again, and what did God tell you? Bow down and serve the black man, and, and bless him, and do that which is lawful and right. He shall live thereby. You shall not be destroyed. I ain't doing that. We'll die, motherfucker. That's your choice. You don't have no other choice. You can go ch accept that fucking fake ass damn fucking fairy as your Lord and Savior. But y'all gonna go to hell for worshiping that devil. The wickedness is disobeying the law to bow down. Or you can wait to the end and be forced be a captivity, pain, and suffering. Let's get to it. Now we're at the end. Isaiah 60, 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of your feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. They shall come down and bow. Why? Because they're being forced. Proverbs 14, 9, 19. The evil bow down before the good. Satan's children bow down before Jacob's, Adam's. And the wicked at the gates of righteousness. What makes you righteous? Because you have the spirit of God on you. Isaiah forty nine twenty three. And the king shall be thy nursing fathers, and the queens your nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth, and lick up the dust of your feet, even though they kings and queens. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord when they lick in your damn feet. Isaiah, because you're being forced to. Isaiah 46, 2. They stoop, they bow down together. 
They could not deliver the indignation, the burden, but themselves are gone into captivity, slavery. And then Revelation 3, 9, all of it is telling you the same thing. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are the Jews, but are not. They are liars. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved thee and hated Esau. The end, period, point blank. So guess what? Either you're going to be destroyed, you're going to be a part of all of Edom that be destroyed, or you're going to bow down and bless Jacob, the black man, period, point blank. You have no other choices. If you do, show me. Let's wrap the news.